Hi, this is my Kimco People S200, and today I'm going to cover off how to change the oil and change the gear case oil as well. First thing to do is get the bike up to a warm temperature by taking it for a ride. I've already done that. And then put it on the center stand and loosen off the dipstick a little bit so we can get some, some air in when I take the bolt off the drain pan. Then once I've done that, I'm going to loosen off this bolt right here. And that's uh, the drain pan bolt. So first step is, uh, our next step is to put a, a drain pan under the bike. And then begin undoing the bolt. Undo the bolt and begin draining the oil. Just be careful with the fan that the oil doesn't spray all over. And there we go. Now let it drain until the stream is down completely stopped. So while oil continues to drip out of the engine, I'm going to drain the gear case, which is at the back here. I just have to take off this nut, which is the fill hole, and the nut down here, which is the drain. And while I do that, I'm going to catch the oil in this cup here. And the reason is I want to measure how much is left, because as you can see, I've got oil dripping out. I'm going to undo the nut on the drain. Cup underneath while I do that. drained out and how much is left over the course of the year. Now that the oil is finished dri dripping out of the crankcase, I'm going to put the drain plug back in. up the oil that's dripping with the rag. And make sure it's not there we go. It doesn't have to be super tight, just be sure it's not going to come off. On the other side of the engine, right here, is a little bolt that that holds in the, the oil filter. So it's just a screen that's reusable, so I'm just going to take this off and, and get the screen out. It's a little bit tight, so you've got to fiddle with it a bit. There we go. And there is the plug in the spring. And I just have to reach up with my finger and grab the filter itself. And there it is. And I don't see any any particulates in it. I'll just give it a wipe with a paper towel here. So now it looks nice and clean. And I'll put it back in. I'll just put
push it in. And there's a, a right way and a wrong way to put the spring on. It's got to fit into the body. I'm just going to give this a wipe with a paper towel. Done it finger tight now to tighten it down with a wrench. There, that's done. Now that the gear oil has stopped dripping, I'm going to put back in the drain pot. Now tighten it up with the wrench. There. Okay, now I'm going to fill it through this little hole here. And to do that, I'm going to need the top that's on the oil bottle. And my oil bottle contains 250 milliliters. And the spec on the side says 0.18 liter or 180 milliliters. So I'm going to put that much in. And Unfortunately, the bottle has gradients on it, so I know how much I've gotten in there. I'll put on the drain, or the fill plug, and I'm done. There, finished. So for the gear case, I'm using um, proper gear oil as opposed to engine oil. So I've measured the amount of oil that I got out of the, the gear case here. I mentioned I was concerned about these oil drips, which is gear case oil dripping out. And I found that I've got about 0.17 of a liter. So I've lost about less than 5% of the oil that's in there, or about 5% of the oil that's in there. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Eventually this oil leak will require fixing, but for the time being I'm just going to let it run for another couple of years without fixing the seal. So for engine oil I'm going to be using this Yamaha brand oil. It's made for, made for motorcycles, 10W40. And I have to put in 0.9 of a liter. I'm going to use this measuring device and filler to get the oil in very difficult to get the oil through this little hole normally. Okay, so I've got my oil filler device filled with 0.9 of a liter. I'm just going to turn it on and let it flow in. There, now the oil is starting to flow. I'll just wait until it's all in there and everything will be fine. So it's almost going in, or almost finished. Just a little bit more and then I'll be done. Okay, so now I'm finished, and I'm going to put the dipstick on. A word of caution here, never crank over the engine with the dipstick removed, because oil will spray out of this hole all over the place. Final step is to crank over the engine for, for a couple of seconds, and make sure that the oil is evenly distributed and at the right level. Put in the key, let the speedometer do its thing, and fire up the starter. And away it goes. Now we'll just 
check the oil level with the dipstick. Just undo it. Pull it out. Clean it off with a paper towel. Back in. And there it is. Just a little bit under overfilled. So it's right about where I want it. And the job is done.